Hey, Judge Andrew Napolitano here, and you are on Freedom Watch with actor, entertainer, radio talk show host, the guy who has been one of my best buddies since we grew up together on the streets of New Jersey, the one, the only, Joe Piscopo. <laughs> Joey, always a pleasure. A lot of people don't believe it when you tell them that you and I are boyhood friends, but of course it is true in the great town of Bloomfield, New Jersey. And the story I love to tell, the uh -oh. Brookdale Elementary School, where I was a punk and a wise guy, a bad kid, the judge, you, and I remember this like yesterday, and I don't know why I remember it so vividly, we would be running around causing trouble in the playground, and then there was like the asphalt, then there was the grass part of the playground. Remember Brookdale School, yeah, yeah, yeah. where the baseball field was to the right? Right. You would be walking, methodically walking, uh, I think you were walking to your home, because you took those back roads home. Yes, yes. And I, I, do I remember your hands behind your back? <laughs> Deep in don't thought. Believe, a don't, brilliant man don't, always. Don't believe any of this stuff. <laughs> I saw it. Have you supported Donald Trump yes. since he announced his candidacy mm -hmm. or since it became obvious that the alternative is Hillary Clinton? Uh, what a great question. Probably since uh, the, you know, when, since he announced his candidacy. I just need, we need a reset. Judge, we need a reset. The system is rigged indeed. You need somebody in Washington. They're scared in Washington. They're petrified of Donald Trump. And it's not so much Donald with respect because he's a friend and I'm voting for him. Right. It's the movement. It's this whole mass movement of tens of millions of people. It's the, it's the machine in, in the Hillary camp against the movement in Donald's camp. All right. We are taping this on the day of the third debate. So that third debate is about eight hours from now. If he were seated here instead of me, what guidance would you give him for that debate? Well, uh, don't, tell him, don't tell him he should be humble, because if he tries to be humble, nobody will believe him. I know. Well, uh, you're more, much more qualified than I, Judge Napolitano, uh, than I am. But I, if he stays on the point, if he stays on the point, your take on the obstruction of justice uh, from what we, we saw in the, in the Hillary camp, what happened under her watch in the State Department, your take that yes. I kept quoting on the yes, radio, yes, Judge, all day yesterday, to do but that. it's very true. He's got to stay on that. Right. He's got to stay on this James O'Keefe video. Right. So in other words, video. keep her on the defense. Exactly. Okay. But these are, not, these are not issues. This is not jobs. This is not uh, He's got to bring security. that out as well. It, these are character-related yeah. issues. Yeah. When he presses her character, yeah. what happens when she presses his? And we, go, and we go back into the gutter. Oh, my people, we go like this, right, Judge? We go like this. <laughs> sidestep it. He's got to sidestep it. He's got to, you know the way Governor Pence did it with Tim Kaine? How great was that? That was terrific. You just sidestep it, and you go to the bullet points. Okay. We, we both know Donald Trump from uh, in, involvements with him uh, outside of this mm -hmm. business. I have a real estate involvement with him, and you've known him for many years mm -hmm. as well. Does he have the temperament? to stay on message? Or when you bruise him, does he have to go right for your jugular? That's the question. Because she yeah. knows yeah, I see. that if she can bruise him, he'll fly off the handle and then she wins. She'll, she'll lure him in. Yes. And, she, and she's brilliant at that. She, yes, she is. And you can't hate, please. People hate. There's so much vitriol in this election. Don't hate Hillary. There's no reason to hate. You just made the best person win. But yes, she will lure him in. Does he have the ability to defray that uh, or to avoid that? That's a great question. That My column really coming answer. out uh, tomorrow. Uh, argues that the de the presidential election is devoid of intellectual repartee. It has failed to address the proper role of the federal government in our lives. Right. It's based on fear and hatred. You made me think of this a few minutes ago when you said hatred. Agree or disagree? Yeah, no, I agree. And aren't those two yeah. attributes of human behavior the worst? Yeah. Fear and hatred? Yeah. Should we really choose a president because they hate one or fear the other? Yeah. And why does the press go with all the lurid details? The press should just put it aside. And when I think when Mr. Trump says it's a rigged system, he's right. And he means the way the mainstream media, and he, I think he, he'll agree with that, that they just go with, always go with that, the, the lured as opposed to the facts. Is he saying rigged system to prepare his supporters for defeat, to convince himself that his likely defeat is not his fault, or because there's real evidence that it's rigged? There's real evidence that it's rigged. He's trying to, he's trying to embolden his troops. Get the people out. Because I think what's going to happen, and I may be very wrong, but I really think, all, and only I know from my radio show, from online, people are going to come out. Tens of millions of people are going to come out voting for Donald Trump who have never registered to vote before. You think the polls are wrong and, and, and we're going to have a president-elect Trump in yeah. four weeks? You know what? I, it, come on. You know, Judge, you know me. You're the... You're, if I may, well, you're, I've known you for three no, quarters no, of your life. I know, and you're such a grounded, wonderful guy, but you're one of the most intelligent men that I've ever met in my life. But I like the drama of it all. Barack Obama 
and Donald Trump in the back of the limousine on inauguration day when Trump wins. <laughs> You want a Saturday Night Live camera there. Oh, listen, a GoPro camera, Obama and Donald Trump on the way to the Capitol inauguration, would you... It would be like, uh, like uh, FDR and Herbert Hoover, <laughs> uh, each looking the other way. Oh, uh, I would love uh, that. Off the wall now. When all this is over, might your name be talked about in our home state of New Jersey for any very high office in which there'll be a vacancy there in another year? It, it might. And, and you and I, and as we say, I'm so organic and, and, and ridiculously honest, so forgive me, but if I can lean on your expertise in that regard, yes, they're, they're, I'm, we're just at it. We have had it. There, there is a very knowledgeable, very serious political side to you, which your adoring fans don't always see. Right. Might they soon see that side? Yeah, they, they might. And, and I'll let you know, and you'll, you'll be the first to know. Oh, you're very kind. No, I love you. I love you like a brother. Man. Well, and we, I'm honored to know you. I, uh, very honored to we, know you. We actually have known each other longer than one of my brothers has been alive. <laughs> so we, we are like other brothers. Joey, uh, always a pleasure. We'll do this again if, if, if you'll uh, allow Anytime. me to say that. I am always here for you, Joey. All right, and thanks for having me on your radio show. It's one of the happiest, yeah. happiest times of the And week. my audience would like you on the Supreme Court of the United oh, States. Oh, you're very, you're very nice to say that. Uh, the, the, only, the one and only Joe Piscopo, the inimitable Joe Piscopo. I try and imitate him, but I fail. From New York, defending freedom. Whenever they let us, Judge Andrew Napolitano. See you next week, America.